YouTube, it's good to see you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to lube up a 1911 pistol. This is a GI style 1911 pistol with a GI recoil spring. Uh, the vast majority of 1911 pistols are going to be this way. There's not much difference even if they have a different type of recoil spring. Uh, so, today I'm going to show you how to do a 1911 pistol. And uh, here we go. First things first, you want to make sure there's no magazine. You want to make sure it's empty. And it is. First thing you're going to need is a barrel bushing wrench. You want to be careful not to mess up your barrel bushing by letting the spring rest on the ear. So you need a good wrench that fits nice and tight. In my case, I need to use the small side on this particular 1911. So we're going to get rid of the bushing first, here we go, tight side, we want to move this way, hold it down so the spring doesn't go flying, there you go, get that out of the way, rock it back the other way so it'll come out. You gotta find the spot for it. Huh. Pull back the hammer to relieve tension. There we go. I'm going to move it out that way so it'll come out. Now you want to match up over here. Push with your index finger. Here we go. There we are. And on this firearm, everything comes out the front. Well, actually, this comes out the back. And the barrel comes out the front. This firearm has always already been cleaned. So now we just need to lube it up. The way I like to do it is with a light oil intended for firearms. My choice, Break Free CLP. Q-tips. Help you get it on everything. As a general rule with firearms, you want to lube up anything that rubs metal to metal uh, around the outside of the barrel. Uh, down the inside of the slides, the slide rails, anything that you see that's metal to metal, lube it up. You want to shake up your thin lube so that the, uh, the viscous parts uh, mix, you know, with everything. So I'm shaking it up, and here we go. When you get to lubing the pistol. I like to squirt some straight down the rails and you can place this on a flat table so it trickles all the way down. Just a very light spray. That was way too much. You know, as light as you can. Now I'm going to set this down on a table and just let it drip down, down the rails. Down I 
put it muzzle down on a table. You only want to do the outside of the barrel, not the inside, never the inside. Just the outside of the barrel. Some people use patches for this. Some people use their fingers. I like to use Q-tips. They're excellent for cleaning the inside of pistols as well when you're cleaning. Get your locking lugs as well. Those get used and abused and beaten. You definitely want to lube up those locking lugs. Some people even do the uh, the ramps. I don't like to do the ramps personally. It's a personal preference. You, you can get away with lubing the ramps if you want. I don't lube the ramps. I make sure they're nice and clean. It's going to make your firearm more reliable that way. Not too much on this thing. Ah, who am I kidding? I, I put a lot on everything. Ugh, for better or worse. <clears throat> All over the bushing, everywhere. The locking lug on the bushing, perhaps not the front of the bushing, but certainly the inside of the bushing. It's going to rub on your barrel. <clears throat> your recoil tube here, plenty. <clears throat> inside and outside not on the front Methods vary, but the general principles uh, are the same. You want to lube up where there's metal on metal contact. Up here on the ridge, I'm doing some. Let's see how that slide is doing. <clears throat> I'm going to dry my hands a little bit before I get the slide. Ah.
I like to do the inside of the slide as well. I like to leave, if I leave my guns alone for a while, uh, before I shoot them again, I like to leave them lubed up. I do the face of the slide here. I prefer to be generous with the lube on most firearms in most cases here in the locking grooves where your barrel locks up you definitely want to lube that up all on the inside of the slide as well Where your recoil spring goes, as well as the top, all on the inside. All over. <clears throat> Plenty of lube. You do not want to do your bolt face. You don't want to do your bolt face because you don't want to get lube inside your firing pin because it will collect crud. But everything else in there, definitely fair game. Go ahead and dry the bolt face. Make sure it's nice and dry on the bolt face. <clears throat> Your gun probably shouldn't be this dirty. Um, I probably could have stood to clean it a little better. But right now I'm just lubing. Lubing and cleaning. You can do both with Break Free CLP. Definitely get some on the 
the top on your ejector for sure <clears throat> I had forgotten to give this gun a thorough cleaning I think I wiped it down I forgot to give it a thorough cleaning but it's getting a clean slash lube I'm breaking it in anyway so I'm gonna take it out shooting soon I should definitely clean them better shouldn't be getting so black as I lube it but we'll be fine I'm taking this one out again soon I still gotta finish breaking it in <clears throat> dry up most of the frame after I'm done not where there's friction but on the outside on the outside certainly And that's it as far as applying lube. I'm going to go ahead and reassemble for you guys. <clears throat> Barrel in. Well, I keep trying to do it like a striker fire. The barrel goes in the front. In and out the front on a 1911. Not like your striker fired pistols. Won't fit. That's the way it goes. <clears throat> Let's see what else now. Yeah, I could put some lube on this puppy. Could stand to put some lube on the recoil mechanism. This is a bad example of cleanliness, but a good example of lubing.
this is the tricky part you're gonna have to line this up a certain way so that you can catch your uh, your takedown pin through there that's the tough part it's the tough part of this hole putting it back together putting that hole where you need it right through your uh, takedown pin hole little loop blocking lugs make sure that's in the middle because the rotation will matter you want to make sure it's you got that thing the little thing sticking out up in the middle there you go uh, your recoil mechanism this part stays in the back, right in the top. We're going to have to play around with your barrel link. You need to, this is the hard part, we're going to have to line this up with our, uh, this is the hard part, we're going to have to line this barrel link up with the, uh, the takedown pin. So that's the difficult part. See what else we got. So we got that going. Try to prop it up with your. Try to prop it up some with your uh, recoil mechanism. Here we go. Slide onto the frame. You gotta try and line it up with your hole for the uh, takedown pin. I got everything lined up. ahead and uh, solidify your position with your pin and then you have to bring the slide back to match it up all this time you want the hammer cocked back just want to leave it cocked back that's gonna help you out ah shoot I got something wrong here up with that little scallop for your takedown pin there we go now you want to there we go so now takedown pin is locked in from there Move our attention over. There we go. Um, got a little notch here that you got to find where it goes in there. So you got to fish for it sometimes. I found it right away turn it all the way the other way make sure you use the right size there we go
twist on. function check and we're good that's how it's done guys thanks a lot for watching guys I appreciate your company